All right, let us get that layoff from you. So as we start to move around, we don't choke you. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go over here and you can bring your bar up over your shoulders and then you can go ahead and bring your legs back up to tabletop. Good, so now we're going to do a little uh, tick-tock with our lower body and then upper body oblique rotation. So let's do the first set. Yeah, try to get your knees together as much as you can. And uh, for the first set, you're gonna try and keep the bar as still as you can. The uh, balls will probably roll a little bit right to left, but your goal is still. Okay. You're gonna try and keep your knees level and then twist your knees to one side by initiating with that opposite oblique. Good. And then back center. It's tricky, yes? It is, yeah. And then other side. You really have to kind of disassociate. Right? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. We'll do five sets of these. And good. And bring it right. And left. Good. Right. Yes, I know. And so if it starts to go too much, you can hear it move a little bit. Left. Two more of these. Right. set right and left nice okay now I'm gonna get out of your way and you're gonna fold forward and rotate the opposite direction with your upper body so go ahead you're gonna tick tock left and then upper body can go right and then you can either stay up or lower your head down whatever feels best for you okay so either stay here or here the whole Mm, so you can either, like, as you twist, oh, I fold see. forward okay. and yep. then back, yep. and that would be a lower level, yeah, and then back, and then awesome. lower down, and then the more exciting way to do it would to stay up stay the here. whole time. Okay. Yes. Right. Whichever you're feeling like doing is fabulous. Left. Do three more rounds here. Right. Left. Two more. Right. Left. One more. Are we doing okay? Right. And perfect. Lower down. Nice. I love doing that right before. Roll-ups! Yeah. <laughs> All right, come on up. We're gonna do five roll-ups. So okay. let's actually start seated to get okay. organized. So you can just come on up, separate your legs about hips distance, and I'm gonna go over here because we're gonna do goal posts overhead okay. and then up. So for this set, you're gonna try your best to keep the balls quiet, okay? okay? So, and I'll cue your breath for this one. So big inhale, exhale, you're gonna hollow roll down and go bone by bone by bone by bone. Nice, and he's keeping his knees nice and still. I love it. And now you're gonna bring the bar up overhead in goal posts, trying to keep the balls as still as they'll stay. And then you're gonna go arms to the sky. Nod the chin, scoop the shoulders, and you can breathe out on the way up, hollowing those abs. Perfect. Four more of those. Inhale, exhale, roll it down. Good. Arms overhead. Inhale, arms to the sky, nod your chin. And then exhale, roll it up. Good. And roll it down as we breathe out. Nice. Arms overhead. Arms to the sky. Nod the chin, scoop the shoulders, and roll up. Two more, and roll it down. Good, arms overhead, arms to the sky. Nod the chin, scoop the shoulders, hollow the abs out, and roll up. One more, roll it down. Nice and smooth and controlled. You've practiced these too. I have, yeah. These feel good. And roll up. 
that. Yes, after sitting on a plane. Yes. <laughs> Best thing to do. Perfect. Right. And these were yeah. nice and quiet. Yeah. All right. So we're going to try a fun thing with your feet. Again, okay. I'm going to see if you can try to keep the balls of your big toes down because okay. what that does is it helps to get that rotation in your foot and then you get a little bit of intrinsic feet muscles going on while we're doing everything else. Might as well since we're here. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to do the fancy rotation with the bar. Okay. okay? Yep. So reach the arms straight out in front and you're going to roll the balls right. So lower the right arm, lift the left, and then you're going to roll down on the right side and then you're going to shift the bar through the center, roll it over to the left side, nod the chin, scoop the shoulders, yep, and come up, and now you're going to feel that rrr, the obliques work a little more. Then you're going to shift the balls right, and then shift them back left. And roll down on the left. I'm still trying to make sure my toes stay. Why, yes, yeah. that would be a fabulous, Got fun it. idea. <laughs> 75 things at once. <laughs> Bring it right, nod the chin, scoop the shoulders, and you can give yourself an exhale on the way up to help yourself out if you like, and then roll it left. Let's do it again. Roll the balls right, and roll down, and shift it over to the left, and roll up. We all have our favorite side, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> and roll the balls right, and then come back left and down. Are they cramping? What's that? Are your feet cramping? Uh, no. Okay, okay. good. Yeah. Sometimes when you do this, they will start to oh, cramp. Yep. yep. And nod the chin, scoop, and come on up. Fabulous. That's plenty. Good. That's good. Oh. You passed that one. All right. Lucky you. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go uh, prone, and I'm going to let me show you how to get into this the way that I figured out how to get into it. Because sure. sometimes getting into putting the bar on your legs is a little tricky. So this is how I do it. I'll have you face this way. All right, you're going to take the bar, and then we'll slide it. And you can put your legs a little bit apart and you want the bar on your ankles okay. and when you put it you're going to try and make it wherever you can if you can get it wide enough to the marks that's perfect otherwise you're going to try to do your best to make it equidistance from there okay and then you walk yourself on down oof, oof, oof. and then hands at the forehead shoulders down abs are in and we're going to lift the bar and what we're going to do is roll the ball side to side great it will be a good time yeah and then when you come up, I'm gonna have you grab it and then we'll put it in your hands and we'll do the same thing side to side overhead. Okay. All right. Yep. All right. Sometimes it took me a while to figure out how to get into that most easily yeah. and gracefully. I think that was good though. And sometimes that's the hardest thing. All right. So shimmy back a tiny bit, I think, because you're tall, much taller than me. All right. And I will let you give it a go to try and line it up yourself. white lines as kind of references, huh? Yeah, perfect. So it depends on how wide you can go. So I just, I line it up just a little bit to the inside. Okay. Is where That's I go. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Lie on down. And then if you have someone that you're working with that can help you out, I'm going to pull it over right just a tiny bit. Okay. There we go. Okay. So try when we lift you want to keep your knees as straight as you can because okay. that's going to help so they don't go rolling okay. and i will help you if it starts to get crazy okay all right so first thing we're going to do is pull our belly button in draw our shoulders down squeeze our glutes and hamstrings and then you're going to reach and lift the bar off perfect and that's probably about as all you need to do and now lower it to the right as you lift the left and then you're gonna lower the left leg and go right. So lower your legs a little bit. Woo! <laughs> so, <Timber. laughs> yes, I'm gonna help you. Bring your legs down a little tiny bit, little bit, little bit. Yes, so they're just unweighted off. Yes, and then that way you can keep it just behind your calf if possible. All right, shall we try again? Yep. All right, well that was fun, we went rolling there. Okay, roll it to one side, yes and then the other side. And should I have my forehead down or like a little bit in extension? Either way is fine. It's a little easier if you put your hands all the way down on your forehead, but if that's uncomfortable, it's good for your uh, thoracic spine to <laughs> yeah. lift it up a little bit more. That's fine too. Good, roll it right. 
and yes. And the more you keep those knees straight, the more you get it up at the insertion of the hamstrings, yeah? Good, that was about three. We're gonna do about 10. Roll it right. We doing okay? Yeah, I was gonna say, this one's probably the most difficult so far. And <laughs> <For> left. <me. laughs> well, the next one is gonna be even more fun. Okay. At least for me, it's more fun. <laughs> and left. And right, perfect. And left. And let me know if you're dying, we can stop early. Okay, no, I feel okay. I'm gonna call this six, because I haven't been paying attention. Okay. That's like the regular trainer, right? Yeah, exactly. Seven. You said six five times. <laughs> Eight. Two more for fun. Nine. And you can do the same thing. Breathe gently or every time you shift, exhale. Good. All right. Center All right. and lower it down. Good. Good times, yes? Yeah, it's really good. All right, come up. Now. We're going to do the same thing with the bar overhead. So okay. you're probably going to want to have your uh, the bar off the mat. Okay. So you can go ahead and lie down on your belly. So my, are my arms going to be extended? Yeah, they're going to be straight up. Okay. And here's again, I would, for the first time, I would do it palms down. Okay. And then if you want it more excitement, flip those palms up. Okay. I can barely get it off the ground with the <laughs> palms up. I'm sure you're going to be much more proficient than I am. So go ahead and reach the ball, uh, the bar all the way out overhead already. Good. Now, I'm gonna have you point your toes, if you can, separate your legs, and you can turn them out in lateral rotation. Okay. And drop your shoulders down your back as much as you can. And now we're gonna go lower the bar right and let the balls go right. And then you're gonna go left. Perfect. Fun, yes? Yeah. Two. Good. And left. Our goal is 10, three, but we can stop early if we'd like to. Four, we're getting our tan, so we have to flip, you know. <laughs> Five, and so the whole time you're going, you're keeping your shoulders down the back. Six, and flatten your wrists a little if you can, so yeah. Seven, because then that's a more neutral wrist alignment if they'll stay there. Eight. This is torture, believe it or not. Nine, one more if we can. 10. Perfect, rest, put that bar down, and I'm gonna just have you reach back into child's pose. Did you survive? Yeah, yeah, it's so all good. Excellent. The sticks were in my way a little bit, but yes. people won't have to deal with that. Hopefully. No, they cool. won't. We can pop them down a little more. All right. Now, we are going to put a bar on your feet and okay. a bar on your hand, and we're going to do Pilates swimming with two bars. Oh boy. I know, it's <laughs> gonna be a good time. <laughs> so, this is, this is fun for me and a lot of my students, and you're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna use two of the four and a half pound bars, but I think that it would also be possible to use maybe a six pound and a four and a half pound for some okay. people or yeah. anywhere around there. Uh -huh. um, but we're just, it's what we're gonna do today. Okay. All right, yep. so you let's uh, leave that one there okay. and I'm gonna grab this one okay. and I'll let you organize it how you like it back there okay. and then shift back a little, yep. And I will cue you through. So this is a fabulous prone contralateral connection. Getting that crisscross across the back. We got it in the front, now we gotta do it okay. in the back. All right, hop down and then grab your bar and then bring it all the way up overhead when you're ready. And for this one, we wanna keep the head just off the ground. Okay, okay now we're gonna take our fabulous active motion bar and bring it up overhead, straight out and you're gonna lift those legs off the ground, hollowing those abs up and in. And what we're gonna do is lower our right arm so the balls will go right, and lower our left leg so the balls will go left. And now you're gonna switch and the balls will go the other side. Oh yes, we're having fun now. And switch, and switch. Nice. I would lower your legs a little tiny bit, switch, and switch. Good, I'm gonna pull this back center. Switch, and good. 
you go at whatever tempo you want, what feels good and fun, and I will keep counting. Let's do four more of these. And you can breathe just gently or you can exhale after each time you switch. Three more. We doing okay? Yep. Two more. Oh, Woo! A little bit there. Party is happening. There Party has started. One more. Perfect. And bring it center and rest. You can go back into child's pose. So, how was that? Good. Did you enjoy that as much did, as yeah. my students have I enjoyed did. it? <laughs> I don't know about that. Nice. All right, Derek, we're going to do a fancy sideline clam with your arm in the active motion bar. So I'm gonna move the active motion bar over here out of the way and you can grab the other one in your hand and sh yep, put it right on your shin. All right. This is fancy and it takes a couple times to kind of get it going. We're gonna have a goal of eight and see how we do. All right, so we are going to keep our hips down at first. You're going to clam your uh, top leg, bend the arm through and straighten it in front of you. Keep the hips down for the first set, yep. And then you're gonna lower the leg, lift the hips, and then straighten the arm outside. Fabulous, now bring your head back, open your chest and lower the hips as the leg goes up. Nice, and lift the hips as the arms go out. Perfect. And three. I'm going to make it even more exciting. Try not to rock this hip back. You knew that was coming. Yeah. <laughs> Four, yes. Are we having fun now? Yes. Five. This is another one I'd like to see with 18 pounds. Six. Let's do two more. Seven. And it's also really great for that underneath shoulder girdle stabilizers. And eight. And lower down. Now, I have a fabulous stretch I'm gonna teach you. Okay. So, you can just come up with your legs either like this or this and okay. then grab the bar over here okay. on your side and I think it feels fabulous. So I'll help you get into there. Okay. And then the bar can go uh, down and lift it all the way up, uh, but keep. So we're gonna go like this way. Oh, I see. Perfect, perfect. And then okay. if you can, you're gonna reach oh, over and get a little side stretch and stretch, yes! And you can push it side where you get that nice underneath side stretch in there which should feel good after doing all of those up and downs. Perfect, stay as long as you like, and then when you're ready, we can flip on over to the other side and see if we can accomplish this over there. You didn't know you'd be dancing today, did no, you? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. okay, so we're gonna have the bar at your shin and in your hand. And so the hip will stay down and you're gonna clam the leg up and push the arm down in front of you. So the arm goes, uh, yep. So the knee is gonna come upside and then the arm will go out in front of you over there. Pull down, keep the leg up and then pull the bar in front oh, of you. There we go. And now you're gonna lower the leg, lift the hips and push the bar out and bring your head, open your chest. Yes, perfect. Reach it out. Three. Do you feel it in your underneath side at all? I do, yes. Mostly in my kind of glute medius. Yes. Yeah. Of the underneath or also the top? Both, yeah, maybe a little more underneath. Yeah. That was kind of the idea was that this is definitely my problem area, so I was thinking about getting the outsides of the hips, the glute medius, and then also the lateral rotators a little bit. One more time with the smile. Open that chest and reach. Beautiful. Rest, come up, put that bar down, and you can reach up and do your nice stretch side. 
So knees come in. And so this is mermaid stretch side with the active motion bar or side lat stretch or something like that. Fantastic. All right.